Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from the VRV family of companies here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, sometimes the reviews that I get to do are pretty easy and really fun, like this one today, which is by all measures the most popular North Point model that Jayco makes. It's a 377RLBH. This guy's right at 43 feet long, around 15.2 on the dry weight side of things. It features a mid bunk, mid office, lots of storage underneath, an outdoor kitchen, just so much to unpack here. And it's in Modern Farmhouse, the most popular color of all on the interior. This is the 2023 North Point 377 RLBH. Let's have a look. What are some favorite things? Let's start right here. This great outdoor kitchen assembly with a cooktop, a drink refrigerator, right beside a spacious pass-through storage area. I love a kitchen with a pantry, and this has got one, and it's got a motion sensor light on the inside and a dry erase board on the outside. Love that. And saving the best for last, this has a mid-office, mid-bunk bonus room. You can use it any way you like. So we're going to start with one of the neatest features, and that's the abundance of storage down here. Because of this floor plan, you get this cavernous pass-through storage area, and it's in the perfect location. This is on the patio side. It's what I call the fun side of the RV. Keep in mind, this is where all the action happens. This is the fire pit, the picnic table, the games, all the activities are on this side. So you're constantly going to be opening and closing this door. And the fact that there's so much storage is a real bonus. Now we have magnet catches all the way around, which hold this door up really nicely. Will the wind blow this down? If it's super windy, it might, but it takes an awful lot to pull that off of there. So it's real handy, better than the old plastic things that used to break. But have a look, we've got all this pass-through storage. We've got diamond plating on the floor that helps keep things from sliding around during transit. I'm still a fan of putting a piece of carpet or something on the floor so things aren't just sliding around willy-nilly when going down the road. Right here's our central vac system. It's a bag system, so you can pop that cover open and put a new bag in just like you would at home. That's a really, really neat feature. We have motion sensor lights all over this coach so your arms are full it's dark at the campsite you open the door you don't want to be fumbling for a light switch and you don't have to that will pop on automatically it's the little things that really make glamping a lot easier and that's one of them now i do have our cable and satellite connections in here if you wanted to put an outdoor tv out here this would be a great place to do it and you have your connections for it right there when I get around on the other side, I'll point out uh, the water jug and what that's all about, but you do have fresh water that you control the quality of on this model. Now I've got propane bottle here and I have a propane bottle on the other side. And guess what? These are 40s, not 30s, and there's three of them, not two. So you double the propane capacity anytime you gen prep a unit. So if you order one or you find a unit, it doesn't have a generator, but it is gen prepped, you automatically double your propane capacity. Now this one actually does have a generator. The generator is gonna live under here. This is a 5.5K LP generator. So you're running off your propane, of course, not gasoline. Now over here's your battery bank. You'll, uh, this unit will come standard with a couple batteries, but you can expand that up. You can even put lithium in here if you want for an upgrade. Either way, you've got plenty of room to expand in your battery bank. You'd be surprised how many models, or I should say manufacturers, limit the amount of space you have for batteries, but Jayco doesn't. Plus, you have extra space up there on top for uh, you know bag chairs and some extra storage area up there, which is real nice. Coming around on what I generally call the utility side of the unit, Here's your other two propane bottles. So again, we've doubled our propane capacity by virtue of having this unit gen prepped and with a generator. Now here's where all the connections happen. So uh, I like that Jayco makes this real simple. Even if this is your very first RV, your very first fifth wheel, just follow the guide up here uh, that'll tell you how you need to hook this up depending on if you're sanitizing it, filling your fresh water tanks, using uh, city water or what have you. Just set these knobs according to the color coded guide. I have hot and cold outdoor shower spigot right here and right here 
There's your little pigtail connection for that. I've also got auto leveling controls inside here. Here's a neat thing. You can control the auto leveling from here, which you'll do oftentimes when you're hooking and unhooking, but you can also do it on the inside of the coach. And finally, one of my favorite things to do is use your phone. Now you can also open up the slides. You can control lighting, thermostat, lots of things from your phone. Now here's a practical and safe thing that you can use with that aspect of it is be out here and watch this slide come out so you're not pulling it into a tree, tree limb, a rock, something like that. So you can be out here and actually watch that all go down as you're outside the coach. Right there's that five gallon water jug I referred to. So what that is is you can swap that out at a big box store, or have it delivered like Crystal Springs, place like that. It's fresh water that is piped to the spigot in your island. So you are controlling the quality of water that you're drinking and cooking with. It also supplies water to your ice maker and your residential fridge. A lot of RV parks have good water. A lot of them don't. Sometimes you get in the Southwest, you get this nasty sulfur kind of taste to the water. This way you know you're drinking good, clean, pure water that tastes good and it saves you having to fill up your refrigerator or other places with the little bottles of water. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, and then our inverter, our pure sine wave in 1800 watt inverter is right here. So that's inverting battery power to keep your refrigerator happy. Plus there's inverted plugs on the inside. So if you pull over on the side of the road, need to take a nap and you don't want to run the generator and turn the truck off, you'll still have regular household power to power like a CPAP machine or something like that. Our whole house water filter is right here. So just pop off this housing, put the new filter in and put it in there. Of course, we'll do that right before you take delivery as well. And then our gray and black holding tank valves uh, all in this area. One last thing I'll say is this is a climate controlled wet bay. So this is a true four season fifth wheel. When it's cold, your furnace cycles on, it's throwing heat down here. So you are getting heat when it does get cold and you don't have to worry about stuff freezing down here. Now, uh, this unit has a tankless on-demand water heater, which is really, really nice. Not going to run out of hot water. You can take those longer showers. Uh, it's got a little mixing reservoir in the back so that you're not getting shocked with super hot water. But Jayco not only puts a good quality tankless water heater on, but the size of this is definitely superior to what other manufacturers are doing. 60,000 BTUs compared to 40 some thousand BTUs on competitors. So you have capacity and fast heating of water. Now we'll come around. You can, all of Jayco walls on all the fifth wheels are vacuum bonded. So that's a process that Jayco does. This is not just hung up here. It's vacuum bonded. Think of it as a giant food saver for an RV wall for this fiberglass. It goes through 144 tons of pressure. All right, that's a lot of pressure and it exerts all this pressure and pushes the adhesive around to all corners of the wall, which virtually eliminates the possibility of this wall becoming delaminated over the course of your ownership. And it's one of the reasons that Jayco can have such a great warranty two plus three year warranty. You'll see three year warranties on a lot of manufacturers that's structural. Jayco does a two plus three, so a two year more comprehensive. They're gonna warrant the build quality of this whole thing for two full camping seasons. That's really kind of unheard of in the RV industry. So we have a 50 amp detachable power cord right here. And then sneaking around to the rear of the coach, if you look up, you'll see that we're prepped for a camera. So starting in 2023, you'll have a camera prep in the back both sides of the unit plus you can option a security system that turns all those cameras into a security camera situation plus one over the door so they're plug and play super easy to pop on there we can do that for you or you can yourself right down here's our hitch so we have a 3,000 pound hitch here with a 300 pound weight capacity so you can pull something up to 3,000 pounds like a golf cart a small boat or something like that if your local regulations allow and you have a four pin connector for lights back here as well. 
of power back on this corner. So if you have a little scooter or something you need to charge up or you have lights you want to plug in at the campsite, it's handy to have access to power here. And then our cable satellite and TV uh, antenna output. Your input's over there on the utility side, but we have output here. I have output in that storage bay up front and then of course on the inside of the coach. So if you have cable or you have satellite, you'll have it now here. So I can I could hook up a television down at this end of the campsite as well as up there too. I have two awnings. I've got one attached to this slide out and then I have the larger awning that goes the whole length of the coach up here under the camp, uh, the outside kitchen area, which is really handy. So you have a lot of campsite, fun side real estate that's covered with your awning. Outdoor speakers here, and these are JBL brand speakers. So the whole sound system in this unit, including the speakers, are JBL brand. I'm a musician, so I appreciate decent audio quality. Jayco upgraded to JBL a couple years ago, and I did a happy dance. It's just great. Uh, these are these are very very decent speakers and I appreciate that. There's a spray port right here You don't see many sinks in outdoor kitchen areas anymore with Jayco because they were problematic You know people pulling in and out uh, plumbing fixtures. They're coming loose now You get a spray port not only here, but on the other side So if I've got some dirty greasy dishes or something I can spray them off but uh, and also I can use it to spray off sandy feet wash off the dog or whatever on this side just like you can on the other side. We have six point automatic leveling on this coach. So everything's gonna be rock solid once you get it leveled. And then here's your propane quick connect for your griddle up here as well. A lot of fun stuff going on on the outside, even more on the inside. So follow me inside and let's have a look. One of the aspects that makes this so special for so many people and certainly one of the most popular floor plans in all the North Point lineup is this mid office, mid bunk room. We have a loft up top. Here's our bonus room that flows right into the kitchen with residential size appliances, a pantry, goes right into a spacious living area for four at least comfortably. Speaking of four comfortably, we can put four around this dining room table by expanding it out and I'll show you that in a minute. But because this is so flexible, it's so popular. Some people during COVID that worked from home, this being their home, loved this because that became their home office. I've had single people, older people buy it for quilting, older people like my age buy it to do crafts and quilting. If you got kids, who doesn't love, kids don't love to have their own little space. Plus I have a loft up top there as well which is totally where I'd be if I was eight years old. That would just be great. So let's unpack this as we go around a little bit and I'll show off some neat features about this. Before I do though, one of the most often asked questions that I get is how much does it cost? You never talk about prices in these videos. So fooey on you, I've never watched you again. Well, I hope that's not you, but I am going to do a dedicated video explaining why we can't actually put pricing. I could, I guess, put pricing on here, but here's the thing. It would be outdated the moment I list it. Plus, there are various options that impact pricing. We have multiple locations that impact pricing. There are so many factors, plus prices change all the time. And after all, MSRP is not the real price that you can buy a unit. So sometimes if you want to know what MSRP is, I'm happy to share that. It's not a secret. If you want the most reliable source of info on pricing, it's one click away. Below there's a click that'll take you straight to our inventory and you can see how much any unit costs, the MSRP plus the options and so on. So more to come on that, but I get that question often and just know I'm not evading the question. Boom, when we bought our first class A motorhome, one thing my wife said, I want a residential refrigerator and look what we have. I can buy this exact same Whirlpool at a big box store this afternoon. It's a residential fridge and it has everything that you would expect from a Whirlpool. Nice lighted shelves, ice and water in the door. And remember this water and the ice cubes that it makes are being supplied from that five gallon jug in the basement. So you have good tasting water, good tasting ice cubes. So 
Really love that. Coming right in here, we have an island floor plan that doesn't take up too much of our common area living space, but enough for prep area up here, prep, turnaround, and cooking. This is a 24-inch Insignia brand cooktop and a very nicely sized oven. <clears throat> On some of the smaller um, units that I do reviews, they'll have real small ovens, and a lot of people say, well, you can never do a turkey in that. How many of you have ever made a turkey on Thanksgiving Day in your RV? This is a legit question. I want you to drop a comment below. How many of you have cooked Thanksgiving dinner in your RV? And if you did, did you do the turkey in the oven or did you do it in a crock pot or fry it outside? I'm really curious to know. Here's my thought. During the 20 some years that my wife and I have been RVing, ooh, it's closer to 30 than 20 now. Anyway, we've done one turkey one time and then we did it in a crock pot. But anyway, here's the good news. You can do a turkey in this oven. That's the point I'm getting at. This is a big oven. Up on top here, convection microwave, nicely sized and residential sized, I should say. It is vented to the outside so you can get those frying bacon smells out of here and tempting your neighbors across the way. What do we have up here? Oh, spices. This used to be a wine rack. In 2023, Jayco changed it to spices. Uh, the plus is there's extra space for spices. The negative is you got to be at least average height to reach this or have a step stool to get up here. But uh, by and large, I've done a survey and most of you said, yep, I like the spice rack better than the wine rack. But if you didn't like that up there at all, you can take this with a few screws, you can take this whole thing out and just have an open storage spot up there. <clears throat> Little storage here to the side of it as well. Now this unit is equipped with 380 watts of solar up top. That's not a ton of solar, but it's a respectable amount that will do a nice job of keeping those batteries happy if you have no other source of power. So keep in mind when you're driving down the road, you're charging your house batteries. When you're uh, plugged up to shore power, you're charging them. But say you're parked out in the middle of Timbuk Nowhere, Colorado by a lake and you have no other power, that solar will help keep those batteries charged, which in turn keep that refrigerator happy. So how long will that last? It's too many variables to give you an accurate answer. It depends on the lights, the, uh, how many lights you're running, ambient temperature, how many times you're reaching for a beverage, and lots of other things. But anyway, 300 watts of solar on this unit, pretty nice. Jayco does a nice job on, on their cabinet build, so we have ball bearing drawer glides, and they're always full extension drawer glides, so you're not having to dig, reach back in there for, for items. Also, on every Jayco, every model, every line, they're always going to be solid maple door fronts and drawer fronts. They're not particle board with tape on them to make them look like real wood. It's real solid maple wood. Another question I get occasionally is, can I put a dishwasher in this? Or is dishwasher an option on the North Point or Pinnacle? Pinnacle used to have an option to do uh, to put a dishwasher in. They don't anymore. They quit prepping them right before COVID or during COVID. Fisher Paykel was the primary manufacturer of those drawer type dishwasher, dishwashers. I'm not sure if they quit making them or they quit becoming available, but Jayco discontinued that option. I kind of expect they may bring it back in the pinnacle, but they, I don't know if there's any plans to do it here in the North Point. Now we have our island, and here's the spigot that I was telling you about down. Uh, so this is uh, being supplied by that five gallon jug in the basement. I have our strainer right here, which you can also put on top here to protect the, the, the top. And then I have a cutting board insert here as well. Bamboo. See, I know you guys are paying attention because I called this teak wood one time and, and a lady said, that's not teak wood. It's bamboo, and you're absolutely right, it's bamboo. So thank you. Please, by all means, drop comments below, corrections, uh, input. I love to, love to chat with people. 
uh, especially folks who've used these RVs, you have such good ideas. And here's a bonus, Jayco pays attention to our videos. I know that for absolute fact because they tell me and they've incorporated some changes that you guys either gives a, give a thumbs up to or a thumbs down on when you see them show up in our, our videos. There is storage in this uh, island as well. I've got a utensil drawer with dividers already in it, storage under there, storage under here. Perfectly sized for my videographer's camera bag. It's almost like it was made for it, right, Zach? And a bottle of water to boot. Nice that that pulls out. And then over here, what do we have behind door number eight? The trash can, yes! I love that there's a place for the trash can. So the older I get, the more RVs I've purchased, the first thing I get, well, maybe not the first thing, I go in and I say, I wonder where the trash can goes, honey, because it's gonna go somewhere. Jayco thought of it, trash can right there, so you don't have to wonder where the trash can goes. On the back side here is just a nice surface, nice, it's got kind of a rustic look to it, but it blends in with the rest of the decor, which is modern farmhouse. So this color is what Jayco calls modern farmhouse, by far the most popular uh, decor option that they've, they've offered. Now on this end, in 21 and 22, there was a cutting board insert that you pulled out a drawer glide kind of a thing and you drop the cutting board in. This one now is hinged, so we can just pop this up and have extra prep area for the kitchen. Or you could even put a couple bar stools up here and have breakfast too as an option. There's also uh, 110 power available right there on this end of the uh, of the island. Now I want to comment too, you see these ducts, these heat ducts in the floor. A lot of people will say, hey, why does Jayco put these in the floor instead of in the cabinets? Isn't that a dust catcher? It is actually, but there's a good reason for that. So Jayco hired an HVAC company in Indiana to study the efficiency of different HVAC applications, including their ductwork. This is being served by a single raceway through the whole length of this coach. If they were to put ductwork in the cabinets and the walls, what would they have to do? Lots of right angle turns, right? So it comes up in the middle, it makes a right hand turn and it makes another right hand turn up, makes another right hand turn out. And so you have all these points of resistance on the fan motor. This is in the range of 30% more efficient doing it this way than by putting them in cabinets. Now you may say, hey, I'm willing to have the trade off. I just wish they were in the cabinets. Fair enough. Jayco's opted for efficiency. It puts less resistance on that fan motor. Fan motor lasts longer, costs you less in the long run. Beautiful pantry, lighted. Motion sensor light pops on when I open this up. Plenty of room in here for all your dry goods and so on. Plus you can put your shopping list, your to-do list, put all your vacation highlights on there, how many days we have left at Disney, you name it. It's fun to have that up there. Now, moving into the living room portion, and all, the, all of a sudden I'm in the living room. Entertainment, so we have a smart TV, an insignia brand smart TV on a televator with a lift, so I can lift it up and down right here. If you want it out of the way, you don't want the kids watching any TV, you want to put the Christmas tree on there at Christmas time, you can do that. Drop that out of the way. This little lid's going to flap down and cover it up. Boom, no more TV. Put a Christmas tree there or whatever. All right, kids, do your homework. It's nice to have that option. We have roller shades everywhere. So we have roller shades here, back, all the way around the coach instead of the pleated shades. Now, I was bragging on JBL a little bit ago, and here's your JBL sound system. So you have A, B, and C settings on here for the speakers. A are these speakers right here, and they are JBL along with the sound system. B are the speakers up in the ceiling, and C are the speakers out on the patio. So you can push music out to the patio from here. You can also push it by Bluetooth as well. And then a fireplace. Think of this as a fancy space heater. So it's an electric fancy space heater that has a, a nice ambiance to it as well. But this does a really nice job of knocking off the chill on those uh, chilly nights. So you don't have to kick your propane furnace on. 
Now back here, I love that Jayco uses every little bit of storage area. So on either side of the sofa, we have these storage cubbies that you can put magazines and so on in there and stow things for travel and get them out of the way. Real handy. And then I've got 110 here as well as over there so I can be charging gadgets while I'm sitting here. Now, we've got sleeping capacity for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to ten, depending on how much you like each other, right? But if your Aunt Matilda comes to visit and you get all the rest of the beds occupied, you do have an option for another bed here and it's real easy to convert. So I don't always do this, but it doesn't take long to do, and it's super easy to do. So pull this out, pop your legs out like that, drop this down, voila, we have a bed. It's just that easy. I remember the old ones were really clunky, difficult to do. I'd probably still put a mattress topper on this or something to even out the, the seams, but it's real easy. Plus you could access it from either side to make it easy to get in and out of this bed. So it's nice to have that in the event that you need it. Now, whether or not you disclose that to your Aunt Matilda is entirely up to you. You may say, Aunt Matilda, love you. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it, but you know, our RV only sleeps four. It entertains six. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. It's up to you. Totally up to you. And I won't tell. Your secret's good with me. Okay, see how easy that was? Nice little lighting fixtures here. Smoke glass inserts in the storage area above back here with a shelf. Thank you, Jayco, for putting a shelf up there. It makes this space a lot more usable. Uh, and user friendly. Now, speaking of entertainment, right across from the fireplace and TV, I have my powered recliners with a light, heated massage. This is just great. And it, it's the gift that keeps on giving. All right, this is great. And I have an armrest cup holder here. I can charge my gadgets right here, beverages, popcorn. Life is really good, so pop that out of the way. Real handy, and these are quite comfortable. A lot of people say, you know, I wish women would design these things. They do it a little bit differently. Good news. Stacy Stewart, boom, Stacy Stewart uh, is both female and an RVer, and she is the chief uh, designer for the interiors of these units, and it's very apparent because a lot of a lot of ladies comment and guys who like to cook and all the appointments that Stacy's responsible for give her thumbs up and uh, along with the color choices and things like that. Now here on this uh, little, this looks like a remote control but it's actually not. It's your ceiling light, pendant light, so you can be sitting here and uh, control the lights here. There's also a good old fashioned toggle switch there as well. Coming up into the dining area. There, I'm going to pull this down in case it messes with the camera. Whoops, no I'm not. It's going back up. <laughs> okay. So if I sit down here, I have more power options right here as well. So there's a USB-C, a regular USB, and 210s. If I release that with that red button, pop it down. If your phone supports wireless charging like mine does, just lay it on there and now it's starting to charge. Really handy, you don't have to fumble with cords, don't even have to have cords up here. It's nice to have that. Now, you say, I thought you said four people could sit around this. It looks like only two, right. Very, very good point, except just like that. Now I have a table that will accommodate four. I have two more chairs under the bed up there. They're folding chairs that are upholstered just like this one. Uh, but they're folding chairs, so you can put two more chairs under here. Plus, there's extra storage under there. So games, markers, pencils, crayons, whatever. Nice to have that. Okay, what am I forgetting? I'm sure something, but let's go in the bonus room and have a look. So, man cave, maybe. Kids room, probably. Uh, craft room, you name it. Guest room, you can use this however you like. 
uh, sold one of these to a young couple that had cute little girl and this was going to be her space. They opted to take all this out and create uh, their own little desk assembly over here. Easy to do if you want to do that. It's entirely up to you. This top bunk is super easy to remove if you don't want it or just pop it out of the way like that and it's out of the way. If you wanted to take this out completely, you just take the screws out of the wall and that whole thing will come out. This is screwed in, this could come out as well. This converts into a bed the exact same way as that sofa did that we just showed. Same exact process. So you have a decent sized bed that a teenager could sleep or a guest or whatever as well as this one up here. But then over here I have a neat little work area. So this could be a monitor or it is a, it is a TV as well. It's an Insignia TV, but you can treat it as a monitor your USB and 110 here, and I've got drawers, storage all around here, more drawers here, and a nice little nook here. So this room is just so versatile um, and fun too. I love it. Plus I have a little storage cabinet here for games and other supplies up on top as well. So if the kids, you got kids, they're probably gonna call dibs on this if you let them. Um, but there's also a loft area up top as well, which is fun for the little kids. You'll see these at different places around the uh, Jayco units. Um, these are, of course, grenade launchers, as I often say for security. Now, they're called thermistors. They're sampling the air temperature and sending that information back. You'll have them here in the back, outside, up in the bedroom and everything. This is the ceiling fan switch. Why it's always in this area with practically every RV, I have no idea, but we do have a ceiling fan here. So once you come in the door, right here's our entry door, boom, I have this coat closet basically. So I have hooks in here for coats and shelves that pop down. So if I want to just treat this as extra storage, I can do that for, you know, small items in a box or pop them up and now I have a coat closet to put my hat or whatever. So that's real handy. This is also the brains of the coach. This is the BM Pro system. So touch it to wake it up. This is where you're going to control really everything. If I go to the home setting, right here's our climate, our lights, all of our motors, tanks, and energy. So if I go to this little droplet, I can see our tank levels. If I go to the gear, I can see our leveling our slides, our awnings, anything with a motor is gonna be controlled here. The temperature guy is our climate control. So here's our main, our second AC, and our third. Now this unit was optioned with a third AC and we also have a heat pump up on top, which is super handy to have, plus our fan controls here. And then finally, here's a fun one, the lighting. So if I wanna dim the lights in the living room, I just drag this over and dim them. And every time I turn it on or off, it's gonna go back to that setting. And finally, here's the fun thing. I can put this BM Pro app on my phone and do all this from my phone. And the last thing I'll say about this is these are actual tactile switches down here that are hardwired. Because some people say, well, what happens if this thing goes black and it quits working? These are old fashioned switches right down here. That's awning one, awning two, slide one, two, three and then extend and retract. You can do it the old fashioned way, even if you were to have a problem with this, what is basically an Android tablet. Okay, Mike, take a breath and we'll keep going upstairs. Follow me up these steps. This is a motion sensor light right here. So when you're coming up the steps, that light's gonna come on. There's a ladder here that tucks away nicely, so it makes it easier for the kiddos to get up into the loft area and then uh, put it back up there and they can never come down. <laughs> so it's nice to stow that away. There is a light up here, a vent up here, and little storage cubbies up on top. Man, if I was a kid, that's, that'd be home for me. I really love that. And then this is, uh, this is bolted in for security right here so nobody's rolling out of bed. And if you want to put a TV up here, you can. And you have your coax and power available for doing that right here as well. Now we're working our way forward. Here's the bathroom and nicely appointed bathroom. Little medicine cabinet to the side. Yay, Jayco, here's proof that they do listen to us. They quit putting medicine cabinets in 377s a couple years ago, and I squawked, everybody squawked, so they gave us a medicine cabinet here. Little bit of storage underneath. Um, 
this type of uh, base and sink up here. Do you like these or not? Do you prefer the old sinks that just mounted below here or do you prefer these type of sinks? Uh, let me know what you think. I, I'm, I'm curious. I think there's probably an argument to be said either way. I have our Truma on-demand water control uh, right here on the wall as well as water switches. I always like to get in the shower just to give you guys an idea of space. So I'm six feet tall. I have plenty of room here and thanks to the skylight I could be even a little taller. Why Jayco doesn't make this a little taller and not just Jayco. I shouldn't just pick on Jayco but every manufacturer. I don't know. This is a head knocker so this could certainly be taller here. Even if it's up here, it's probably going to be a head knocker for a lot of people. But anyway, word to the wise on that. Nice big uh, shower wand right here that's adjustable up and down. Matte black. I do have a little bench right here. Uh, shave your legs and that kind of thing. Glass shower enclosure with a little catch right here. This should be on your pre-travel pre checklist to make sure that thing is secured so this door is not swinging back and forth and banging around when you're going down the road. I love when Jayco does handy things in the unlikely event that you ever need to do some kind of maintenance thing. Check this out. This looks like just a picture frame or something. Look at that. I have access to the wiring and plumbing right back there. Uh, be kind of a fun place to put a safe or some kind of hiding thing back in here put a little shelf I don't know but anyway uh, nicely done nicely trimmed out if you ever have to access that and yet even more storage that goes all the way to the outside wall there for linens and stuff nice bathroom powered vent up here so it gets the moisture and the smells out of the bathroom going up into the bedroom and what do we have a king bed nice very nice now, as I often say with a king bed option, the greatest thing about a king bed is it's a king bed. If you have a king bed at home, you have one in your RV. Why not? The worst thing about a king bed that I can think of is it's king bed. It takes up this whole room. There is precious little room on either side of this, but I can get in here. I can make it totally acceptable for, for me, but some people will look at this and say, man, I need more room on either side of the bed. I'd rather have a queen. It's an option. You can do that. You have nice pillow assortment right there, okay. Our switch is there on the side. Again, we have our roller shades all the way around. Pull this out of the way to show off this really nice closet. We are washer dryer prepped. So if you wanna put a washer dryer, these three shelves get removed and your stackable washer and dryer will go right in there. I don't know if you noticed, but that light popped on when I opened this up. So these are all motion sensor lights. There's one here and one there. So I have closet rods here, little nooks up in there to put your shoes. And there's even a clothes hamper uh, down at the other end that you can open up and put your dirty clothes in with two shelves on top of that yet as well. So very, very handy. Now I mentioned too earlier about the security system aspect of this. So if you want to opt for a security system, there's a switch on the wall that's right here. And you need to flip this security camera switch on. Now that sends power to each of your camera locations. If you've ever had an RV before, you know when you turn the truck off, all the running lights go off. All those running lights are what are serving power to those camera locations. Jayco's wired it now to continue passing power along to those camera locations. So they're all powered up and you can have one over the door, sides, back, have 360 view of everything going on um, from the monitor. Most people put the monitor here in the bedroom. Now there is a WineGuard 360 antenna here. If you want to, this is a, an LTE, it's a Wi-Fi amplifier and a high def TV antenna all in one. If you want to have a dedicated hotspot, you're going to be in this full time and you want to have a dedicated hotspot just like home, you can do that. 
there's instructions how to do it. You're just going to slide this off and put a SIM card in there from the provider of your choice. And there's clear instructions how to do that. And then now you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot right here in your own RV. Storage under the bed here. Look how easy. I just gave that a little tug and it's going up on its own with these gas struts right here. When you're shopping around, and you should shop around, Lift up the mattress of whatever brand you're looking at and see what you see. A lot of times you're going to see particle board or OSB, not on Jayco. It's plywood. Plywood is stronger. It's more expensive and it doesn't stink up the place like particle board or OSB does. Jayco has been a plywood based builder for a long time and for good reason. It's just a better product. So now what reveals our storage area under here. This is our central vac attachments right here don't let me forget i'm going to point that out when we go back up to the front of the coach but those central vac attachments will reach all the way from the front of the coach to the back with all the typical attachments here's your two chairs the folding chairs that i was referring to um, for the dining area just give this a push back down look how easy that is so much easier than to wrestle that up like they used to have to do i have four drawers here and Boom, even more storage under here. So this is the perfect place to maybe put jewelry. Um, yeah, I don't know, nine millimeter, 38 special would lay in there nicely. You'd be the choice, you'd be the, you'd be the boss on that. And then we have a smart TV up here as well. Finally, I will mention that I have the AC running on high right now. And I'm gonna open this up. It's on high and I'm standing right under it. I have a lapel mic right here. Jayco calls this whisper quiet because it is whisper quiet. You could be watching a drama movie in here at low volume and the AC is not going to drown you out. Part of the reason is the same. I see, remember before I said that they hired an HVAC company to give them the very best advice on how to set up an HVAC system specifically for an RV. So this is one example. They call it a helix system. So the duct work in the, the ceiling is doing this. It's not right angles like other brands. It's a helix system. There's less resistance. It's quieter and much more efficient. And man, does it feel good right here. It's a hot day in Texas. Well, that just about wraps up our tour for today. You know, I often overlook things in these because there's so many neat things to point out. I wanted to show you the central vac system that's right under the steps here. This is what I call the magic dustpan. Flip that up with your foot and away the dirt goes. And in order to hook your attachments up, just open up this and you're good to go to hook up the attachments reaches all the way from the front to the back of the coach. We are in the 2023 377RLBH North Point. It's a great unit. I always appreciate you tuning in. I even appreciate it more when you drop comments below. Love to hear from you. And while you're down there, if you can click like and subscribe, that way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. Again, my name is Mike Drudge. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.